When one describes a legacy, it's usually in regards to what a person leaves behind. And there is no doubt that Sidney Crosby left Rimouski, Quebec with plenty of memories. But that small city five hours northeast of Montreal left its most iconic hockey player with some of his best memories in a life that's been full of them. On the eve of his 15th NHL season, number 87 returned to Ramuski with family and friends to be honored by his junior team, ensuring the legacy he left behind would be permanent. I remember seeing this view exactly the same. First time I ever came here. Thanks. Thank you. Ça va? Ça va How are you? Good, thanks. Good to see you here. Yeah, good to be back. All right. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Okay. All right. Okay. Merci. Okay. That's hard to believe how fast it's gone. I think it's more just seeing everyone all together. That's kind of the the best part about it. You know, whether it's old coaches or teammates or the people we live with, people who work for the team, just to have everyone all together again after this long will be really cool. Not a bad view. Moose Crossing. I was part of the Oceanic Fan Club. How old would you have been then? Seven. Yeah. You were 16. It was really good preparation because there was a lockout that year, so, you know, that was really the only hockey being played you know, around here. I mean, the Montreal Canadiens were a team that everyone kept a close eye on and, and they weren't playing. So junior hockey was probably more of a microscope on it because of that. It made it for a great environment to prepare for, for the next level. There's you know, a lot of pressure and, and high expectations, but it was just a great time being a teenager and playing in front of sold out rinks every night and playing for a great organization with all your buddies. Uh, it doesn't really get much better than that. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah. I'm pumped. I'm probably going to be pretty emotional. I think it's going to be a bit of a, a battle. Just thinking about it and you have all these memories and all the stories and seeing all the familiar faces, it's crazy how fast it goes. So, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be pretty emotional. When I think back to here, I just, I felt like any kid playing junior loved playing the game and, you know, at the rink and things like that, it was busy, but off the ice, I think I was able to live a pretty normal life and the guys on the team were pretty influential for that too. You know, they're a big part of just keeping things as normal as possible. Hi. 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 How you doing? We're late. Bus is late. Okay. Not good to see you, man. <laughs> My English is not perfect. Uh, welcome in Rimouski again. At 6.02, we have the press conference for you. Yeah, perfect. All right. Well, we guys. Building's fresh. What's that? Which part's new? Because they do uh, renovation, right? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, it must be, it must be the suite. The suites. That's it, at the end. The suites. See? Okay. They didn't have those before. Oh, OK. Well, I'll drink back memory. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no doubt about that. I've always felt support from here, from the day I got here. So I'm not reading all the, the articles or I don't really know what's going on all the time, but they've been unbelievable to me. Um, you know, I owe them a lot for a great two years here. <laughs> what do you do with that mustache? Hey. You don't know when you're a junior that, you know, those friendships are gonna stay, and uh, they have, so I think just those memories and then those friendships, reliving them when you come in, you know, on a day like this, that's what it's all about. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. What's Enjoy your uh, evening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the rink looks good. Man, I loved walking in there. It was like, oh my God, I wanna put my gear on right now. Okay, I'm all. Oh, man. You look great. good, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. I wanna see everybody. a little bit of gray. Hey? Where? Just a little Where? bit. Just a bit? I need the old brush, you know, <laughs> just for men right here. Oh, the press room was going. Buddy, I'm going to ball my eyes out. I couldn't even answer questions. How am I going to get through a speech? We expect you to be emotional. Yeah. I would think, I mean, just coming in and seeing the rink, it's got a special feel here, and I would expect to be pretty emotional, yeah. Okay, let's do it. 
Yeah, Daryl. Happy to share his moment with you, buddy. Thanks, brother. I can't believe you're here. I know. back on this ice is pretty incredible. Got some amazing memories here over the years. It's pretty emotional. I had two amazing years here. My best friends to this day played here, trained me here, and coached me here. Whenever we get together, it's fun to talk about our days here, even if we always tell the same stories. <laughs> Mom and Dad, you sacrificed a lot so that I could play the game I love. Taylor, you as well. Those long road trips, <clears throat> early mornings, and cold rinks weren't always fun. Well, you didn't complain, and you were my biggest fan. Thanks to friends and family who are here tonight. I'm happy to share this with all of you and want you to know as special as this night is, having all of you here is what it's all about. To the Oceanic players, enjoy these times. They will be some of the most memorable of your life. I'm gonna give this a go in French for you boys. Remouski, vous êtes beaucoup pour moi et ma famille. Nous avons des bons souvenirs ensemble. Pendant toutes ces années, et ce soir, c'est un grand honneur. Merci du fond de mon cœur. Yeah, a lot of emotions going through that time. I mean, a lot of memories. Just an amazing ceremony, you know, to put all those those two years, all those memories all together like that, fill it up in one night the way they did, definitely uh, pretty speechless. Sid, what were you feeling as the ovation just kept going and going and going? I felt like I was 16 again. You know, I remember the first time I came out for the for our first home game here. I felt like I did that day. You know, the people here are incredible, and that was a great example of how amazing they are. It's pretty overwhelming, like I said. I've come back here since playing here. I love it here. You know, it just it means a lot. Like I said, the friendships that I made here, the way everyone took me in here, yeah, everything about it. I mean, I owe so much to, to this place and appreciate every single thing about it. So it's it's great to see. Uh, Full house that's into it. The only way to cap it off is, is I hope the guys can go out there and get a big one for them. I appreciate you guys getting the win and wish you the best of luck. Everything I said out there, I meant this is the best time of your life. And these guys that are with me here tonight, they can speak to that. So. A lot of great memories, so hope you guys have a great year. I'll be following you, and uh, thanks again for letting me be part of this. I've been part of some great things, but this will always be uh, up there as far as memories, so 
Good luck the rest of the way. Keep it going.